If you're in the market to move this spring, the housing market's shaky state has both buyers and sellers in limbo over the next move. Two on your sides, Andy Payton joins us now from the newsroom with what you need to know before making a big decision. Andy. Claudine, realtors are optimistic tonight about what the next few months could bring for the market, but not all signs are pointing for a prosperous spring. With winter almost in the rearview mirror, buyers and sellers are heading into spring open houses tonight with mixed signals. I've been seeing a lot more houses hit the market. Um, our inventory is coming back up, it's speeding back up. The spring market's here, so I don't think that the buyers are going to have a hard time this spring finding a house. Those on the front lines like Ali are saying now is the time to hit the market. But the numbers are telling most buyers and sellers to think otherwise. With mortgage rates soaring from 2 to 7 percent in the past year and application numbers down 4 percent in just the last week. Still, realtors are betting big on spring's historic upward trend to cause the market to bloom. In the winter time, everybody is, they want to stay where they're at. They're not really looking to do all that, moving around, packing up moving in and out of houses. So a lot of people, they do wait until the spring to start moving around. Realtors are also pointing to the last three months for reasons to be optimistic tonight. With the sales of previously owned homes jumping 14.5% and a continued month to month increase since December of pending home sales, opening the door for positive growth in the markets near future. These numbers are just going to always increase and decrease. Um, I wouldn't wait, stop waiting until the market crashes or the market drops or the interest rates drop because there's no such thing as the perfect time to buy a house. Now all eyes will be on the economic calendar next week when existing home sale numbers are released on Thursday, April 20th, and that will give us a better idea of where the market is now and where it's heading. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.